people in Hong Kong they do not really understand like how it works like for Wikipedia. They think like that website just exists online like just exists. And they don't know they can add it on Wikipedia. They just read the information they need. Well, at first I didn't know that Wikipedia is free to edit and soon after registering I began editing articles about different theatres and theatre themes. I first did edit Wikipedia as a student, although I didn't even use my username. I worked with another student and um, I was in college. One of my instructors really felt that um, the women Native American writers that we were studying were underrepresented, so we had the option to edit. Back uh, when I was a second year student at the Faculty of Languages, I had a professor, her name was Radwa Kotit, and she was teaching me translation, and she told us about the program and that we get the chance to practice translation. And I myself, I was a little bit of a nerd, so I didn't really get the time to join any activity outside studying. So uh, when I heard about this activity, I really liked it because um, it gave me the opportunity to practice translation and have fun, have fun at the same time. In 2010, uh, I was like surfing through the internet looking for uh, a particular topic, a particular cuisine in uh, India, but uh, there was no article about that particular dish. Um, so I thought, why not go ahead and create an article myself? Do you remember your first article? Yeah, it was, uh, do you know what a lichen is? Lichen is a sort of a fungus of, or an algae at the same time. So that was the first article that I wrote and I later uh, turned it into a very long article with many books cited and all the details in. Wow, <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> it's, 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 it's quite cool, but also a bit nerdy. I took a illegal cab and uh, I was deceived by the taxi driver and I got really angry and I just figured out there's no, no documentation <coughs> on Wikipedia and then I just tried to collect all the references and all the legal documents on why you cannot uh, uh, use this kind of uh, uh, taxi. In 2011, Wikimania, which is our um, global conference, was in Israel, in Haifa, and a good friend of mine who was uh, a Wikipedian suggested that I come. And um, I was already part of the uh, global uh, open, open access, open, open knowledge movement. And I came to the conference and I heard lectures about Glam Wiki and uh, Wiki in Education and that was it, I was hooked. 